Jason, or Jason, depending on who you ask, however the creator of Jason pronounces it Jason, stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a syntax for storing and exchanging data. Jason, that's how I say it because Jason is my middle name, has the following characteristics. Data is in name value pairs. So here's the example. Here's the name, here's the value. Here's the name, here's the value. And here's a name, and here's a value. Data is also separated by commas. So you have a comma after each piece of data. Curly braces hold objects. So in this name value pair, the value is an object. Also, the entire thing is an object, so you can see the curly braces. And square brackets hold arrays, like this. JSON values must be one of the following data types. A string, a number, a JSON object, an array, a boolean, or null. JSON values cannot be a function, a date, or undefined. That's one of the differences between JSON and JavaScript objects. Since the JSON format is text only, it can be easily sent to a server through a URL. When exchanging data between a browser and a server, the data can only be text. That's why JSON can be very useful. There are two important methods for using JSON in JavaScript. The stringify method. If you call json.stringify and pass in some JSON, it converts it to a string. So we just have a string right here. Often you'll stringify some JSON before sending it to a server. And the parse method. Whoops, got this comma in the wrong place. So when we do json.parse and put in a string that's also in JSON format, it's going to give us an object. It's going to convert it to a JavaScript object. Well, that should give you a good introduction to JSON. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Check the description for links to more information and to the code. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.